In this video I want to show you how the waiting list handling uh, works for the Citric application for the SAP event registration. I'm on my uh, HANA trial demo system and I have here an event for a small town where currently the setting is we have the maximum number of two participants and they are already registered. You see they get in the registered column C yes. Uh, I've registered myself and I'm now on the waiting list. So it could happen that the organizer uh, changes his mind and he increases the number of uh, possible participants. So if I here switch to the role of the organizer, this is a view of the organizer, I go to edit mode and change the number of maximum participants to three, save it, in this moment the uh, participant list will be updated and when I now refresh uh, the page here I will see that I'm now also registered. So what happens now if another one uh, registers to the event? So I switch the browser, go to Firefox and here I register and that is uh, my uh, second user and I register for the event and click save. So I will get to the waiting list as the maximum number is still uh, 3. So, But if now someone changes his mind, so for example uh, I'm in my Chrome browser, change my mind to mm, I can't go to the event, what happens? So let's edit my registration and say no I can't go and save it. And now um, I'm not registered anymore and um, the Gregor Wolf second is now registered. So ah, I really want to go to this event so let's edit again and say yes. So what happens now? Because I changed my mind and someone moved up from the waiting list to be a registered participant, I'm now back on the waiting list. So could happen the other one person changes his mind. So let's switch to Firefox. And when he says no and saves, he will be now uh, not registered anymore. And I'm back uh, in the event. So when I refresh uh, the page here, I'm again registered. Okay, so that's the handling of waiting lists. So it can be influenced by the participants by changing their registration status, and it could also be uh, changed by uh, changing the number of maximum participants. So also it's possible to change down the number of participants. Let's do that to put it back to two. Then I should be again on the waiting list. Okay. Uh, let's refresh the page completely and here we see I'm now on the waiting list. Thanks for watching.